Hi Gamers, Monster well, Dads, welcome to Criddler Gaming. Now there's a great new setting and uh, if you're like me and uh, you never know when the people are in the, the game and uh, even with these things which I'm about to ditch there's a new setting where you can actually see them. If you use uh, Fortnite on the phone you'll probably be used to this already but it's visualised effects so the downside is, and it doesn't really bother me too much, is there's no sound on the game now but if you go into settings so a little cogwheel here and then you go RB across to the uh, sort of accessibility tab you'll see here this visualize sound effects now it's off as default but if you turn it on what happens is instead of listening to the people you can actually see them and for me who never knows where anybody is um, it's a bit of a godsend now when I usually play it um, if I'm out for a, a day in the bush then um, you know I'm probably doing other things at the same time so I usually have the the sound off anyway so the, the fact there's no sound at all um, you know it doesn't uh, impact me but I can see why other people would like a little bit of sound um, I'm surprised I don't do a little half half and half so maybe you know a little bit of the the effects but I guess you use the setting because you've you've got you know, hearing issues now that's the setting that I'm going to put on here and I'm just camping out here for, for a while just to get to the usual top 10 um, but the other thing about the map is it's starting to melt so you know, if we just zoom out here although this is a smaller one and you can see how long it takes me to set up the equipment so I started setting this up when I was on the bus and just about got into this circle here I landed by Haunted and there was a, there was a scar just lying on the floor so I grabbed that um, stuck in a bush by the H in Haunted Hills and then I'm just running on the, the last circle um, so apart from running for a few moments I've just been setting up the equipment now when we get into the middle we'll start to see the visualised sound effects uh, the main one that you'll see is the little feet so the little feet sort of run round in an arc so a circle around you so straight ahead means obviously the people are straight ahead and then on the if it's to your right hand side then obviously the people are there but it's it's quite it's not exactly an arrow pointing at the person you have to get used to where the the, the settings are um, but back on the map we're just saying um, this is slowly melting so we're on uh, today is you know the, the challenges are coming out tonight so we'll uh, we'll do them quickly and uh, if we do four of those we'll get the new skin so we'll, we'll pop this at the end of the video so we'll do this in two parts today but you can see the snow is now back to here the question is although on paradise we're still in desert when we get over here will the snow keep melting you know will it just sort of revert back to how it was um, before the uh, the Ice King event or will it um, go completely we'll soon find out I guess every day it melts a little bit more because it was you know it was just up to here a couple of days ago and then right just this very corner that the first day it started to melt so I'm guessing there's something really hot up here in J1 we'll, we'll soon find out so anyway I need to get moving the top 10 as usual wow, got the scar on. now what I want to do is find the middle it's near pleasant, so it's not too bad. Assuming nobody's going to take me, well, run in between bushes is the, the fear of every bush camper. But if you've got the right tactic, you don't tend to get taken out too much because you run in with the storm and the only people behind you are the people stuck in the storm. And if you're at the edge of the map, then there won't be any people at all. But um, I am going to do a video. Um, thanking all the people who just dive down and get eliminated because without them I wouldn't get top 10 as many times as I do now there's someone in that little house there uh, but I didn't notice the feet come on at the moment so where can I hang out here let's have a quick look right, I'm probably going to get spotted I have to have a little battle but the aim is to just catch the symbols on the phone so if I'm in here, I've got the grenade. I'm not caught in my circle. Yeah, I'm just about in here. So let's hang on now for the feet. And you can see, I'm not sure if you saw, I was just going to point at the screen then, but um, just below 120 there, you could see just like a little flash. Now what that was is somebody shooting. So you get the feet for when they're walking and you get a little flash when they're shooting. Oh, look at that right behind me. You can also see, um, when there's an aeroplane and a quad bike uh, because you get a little symbol for that now on the phone those symbols aren't very clear but they're a lot clearer on the Xbox which is our alternate 
platform to the phone. There's still no leaderboard update on the phone. Epic Games, please, 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 please. Because we play the phone just as much as I play the Xbox. As kids play the Xbox, and I get reverted to the phone. So, um, unfortunately, it doesn't add on any of the, the games that you play. Plus, for me, it's easier to eliminate on the phone because it's less crazy building. Can you see that? There's an airplane there just on the screen. So, that means there's an airplane. Here we go. There's somebody here. Are they going to play? No, no, they've just ventured off. Now, you can also see people parachute on the symbols, although it didn't seem to come up there. They have to be quite close for their symbols to come on. The one thing I don't think I've ever seen on the phone is the trap noise. No, that's probably just a bit too much of a giveaway. Speaking of which, shotgun, thank you. Ah, right. Now, can you see there at the top? You can see shooting, so that's to the left. If I just come back a bit. What we really need to do is see the people and the gun shots at the same time. So, this is probably a bit of a Harry Carey sort of, there's a build up here. And that's too far. Now you cannot see the sound of people building. Not that there's much of a sound anyway. Oh, <laughs> I did see it as well. Noob! <laughs> I actually saw the trap. Right, now if I quickly just pop into the lobby, that's the best place to see the feet, because we didn't see many feet in that one there. And that proves that we always record every video that we do. Top 10 was alright. Taking myself out. <laughs> oh, there's a trap there. I just couldn't quite stop going into the door. I think too busy talking, really. Right, so we're in the lobby now. I'm just going to wait for a load of people to run around. You can see here, I look at the footprints there. So that person there is running around, so they're just in front of us. Now, when they run off to the right, you can see it's not quite pointing at them. It's sort of... Yeah, a little bit off. So you'd think that the footprints would be further around to the right, since that's what they are. But it's just getting used to, you know, matching the footprints with you know, their location. You can see the map a bit better now. So I am full of cold, so uh, I sound more daft than I normally do. And we do our usual technique. So wait on the bus and then float down to the circle and then pop as close to the edge of the map as we can. Top ten. It's easy. I say I will do it. I will do an interesting video thanking everyone for time to tilt it to get everybody. Oh, I got one person and then I got got with 80 people left and I got no XP and I only outlived 20 people, 19, 10, depending on how many's in the game. So the new glider. That's for doing all the uh, the zombie things. They weren't too tricky. The zombie. I think the hardest one in the zombie was the um, the legendary brutes. Or whatever they called them, uh, you needed 20 of them. Um, the best way to do that was to wait for the circle to shrink to, to like second smallest and then attack the zombies. Then there tended to be more gold there. Sometimes you got three or three or four in the same tower, which was useful. Although you do attract a lot of attention when you were you were taking them out. I think they had about 2,000 health, so they did take a bit of a bit of doing. If you didn't have much weaponry, then. Uh, yeah. wasn't too bad the zombies because if you did attack them on the husks, whatever they call them in this, or uh, brutes, then um, they did drop quite a lot of weapons. So one disadvantage of the, the bush technique is you don't have a great loadout. Although I did get a scar in the last one, just never got to use things. <laughs> Walked straight into a trap. Well, too busy talking. Right, so we're in the circle here. So nice edge of the circle here. Well, anywhere around here really will do. Let's pop to the garage um, and then float down. Right, so I'm just going to pop down here, jump in the bush, and then we'll see if we can get any nice little footprints. Right, I'm just floating down to the garage here. You can see there's a little bike symbol on the left-hand side, so I think we've picked up most of them. So somebody is, uh, is in the quad bike, as you can see going there. So this might not be too much of a successful game, because I'm just doing this for the sound effects more than anything. If I just grab these two here. There's actually like a... You see, if I just move around, you can see it's got like a, an area of it, so is the bike somewhere in there? So you do need to just line up where it is. Now you'd hear that, of course, if you didn't have this setting on, but I can never sort of pick out where they are, even with the headphones on. The headphones, 
if you do use sound and it's useful, then the headphones are definitely an advantage. Although I, I don't tend to wear them because I can never find them. They're always hidden away somewhere. Right, so I'm going to stay here for a bit and then I'm going to make a cup of tea and then come back. And we'll see how many people have decided to um, go into a, a battle. And if there's a battle with two people in, then one of them is not going to last long. So that's good for, for my tactics. So uh, see you shortly. Oh, how are we doing? So it's good to... Uh, I don't usually edit the videos at all, but um, cause I'm coughing <laughs> every ten minutes. It's, uh, it's good to uh, get rid of them. So uh, a nice cup of coffee, actually. Um, new tin of beans. Great, great smell. Enjoy it. So I'm just, just popped in. Can we uh, get them on film or in the bush? See, when you're in a bush, you just do other things. You don't have to do it. We've got them in there. There's Hunter's there. Do you, do you another video, Hunter? Yeah. On his big climbing frame. He's a, a Russian. Russian blue cat or nearly. And they like to climb, so that's why he's got such a big cat thing. It's not because he's the king of the castle. So, but anyway, what's going on? So there's 29 people left. We're in a bush. How's the circle? Right, circle's coming in. Will we have a long way to run? So that person on the bike obviously just drove past. We've not had much of a to do here. We've only got shotgun. Uh, but uh, we'll see, see how it goes. The other settings that they, they bought in were streamer settings. So there's like an anonymous setting you can do um, to prevent stream sniping. Um, we don't stream so much, so we haven't set it there. Oh, the circle's not too bad. It's always better when it lands on you, because then you've uh, got another couple of minutes to hang out. So, as per the usual tactic, we'll just hang around here until the storms come in and then we run in. I could actually do a few more weapons though, and absolutely no materials. But um, we don't tend to use many. There was the um, mode that really enjoyed where you had 30 wood, 20 metal and 20 brick as maximum materials and there was, the bullets were limited as well and uh, uh, it was played one, won one and it, it was uh, over Christmas so it only lasted a, a day and um, it would be nice if I had a few more goes on that but um, the fact that no one else could build they didn't know what to do with site so that's uh, definitely the bush uh, camping mode and the other thing they've done is they've got the sneaky snowmen where you can actually just hide yourself inside a snowman I'll see if I can show one of those you'll probably know it already um, the only problem with that it doesn't really work it was supposed to um, be the new bush for the sort of the ice land or the you know the polar peak area of the map um, I'm guessing some people are you know had moaned that there's no bushes there to hide in if that's um, well, I mean, there's plenty of, there's plenty of places to hide in there. I don't get taken out that much. Uh, but the, the snowman was there, so you could hide away. But the problem with it is, if you saw a snowman in the middle of a <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, then there's obviously going to be a person in it, unless someone's just dropped one randomly. So um, you know, it would only really have worked if there was lots of random snowmen all over the place. There tends to be two or three around the house or something like that, but there wasn't enough to sort of justify it. So yeah, it's a good idea, nice, nice bit of fun, but... Um, if it's a serious tactic, I, I think it's one that's quite flawed because, you know, so as if you saw a group of three that's always there, you could smash one, put yourself in one and go in the space where the other one was. That, that works quite well. Um, but for that, you have to collect collect the snowman and be in the place where the snowmen are. So um, just popping three or four snowmen down, anyone who knows the map is going to know that the snowmen aren't normally there and um, they take you out. So... Um, it was quite enjoyable. In fact, they're still in the game, so uh, they've taken the SMGs or the, the swapped the SMGs over this time um, in the last one, and the, the materials have gone up from 20 to 30 in the crate. It's always worth reading the, the patch notes. So 7.3. If you just Google Fortnite patch 7.3, you'll see all the different changes that are there. And um, this setting um, that we've shown you today is is one of the main ones there. Um, so I I do enjoy it. I mean, I have played on the phone with it so much, you know, and the fact that uh, the because the map's on, you can't actually see them anyway. But um, if you just sat here and you are paying attention, you can see people running around. Um, I think it is. I think it is a useful setting.
Right, so Storm's coming in. We've got just a shotgun. Um, there's an airplane there. You can see the little symbol. You can see the airplane. If you're in the bush, you wouldn't have to look up, you see. Because the symbol's there, you don't have to move. You don't sort of have to look around to see where the people are. You just know they're there. Now, the other good one is for chests. Now, there's no chest in this one here, you see. Now, there usually is a spawn chest in there, but if you had a chest, you'd see it. Now, I know we're going to get caught in a storm here, but where's the camel? So there's sometimes a chest under this holder here. Like, see, can you see the, the little sign there, the chest sign? So if we smash this down, okay, we're taking a bit of damage by the storm, but 10, 20 bits of damage is not going to make too much difference. And we can see the chest here now, and you can see the little symbol of the chest. So we could do a few more, a uh, bit of weaponry, so that's handy. So I'm just going to run in now to the storm. The next storm's not too far from this one, or storm. Circle, it's the most... I think I say it wrong all the time. Storm and circle. So we're heading into fatal by the looks of it. And just, uh, just dynamite on. Put your pistols in there. But took quite a bit of damage in there. 49. Interesting. And they're not the best of bushes really. Feeling vulnerable. A couple more we can play with. This looks a bit better. Although you don't want to swap bushes too often because people see you. No, perfect. So this should get us into the top ten now. All right, so another top ten. A uh, bit of a rambling video. This oh nine. So uh, yeah, a bit different. Um, just to see how the game goes and. Uh, I'm cutting bits out because I'm coughing, I'm coughing every few seconds, so uh, you don't really want to hear that, do you? So, I'll, um, see how we get done. Down to seven already. Right, so circles formed. We're not quite in it, um, but there's there is a couple of parts of the circle that are near this current one, so it's always a good area to go for if you if you're being defensive like this. Um, we're down to five people. So again, thanks to the other 95 who have decided to go into battles. Oh. Now this is usually the kiss of death, kiss of elimination, because it's just too tempting. Too tempting! If you want to keep a low profile, just I'm going to take this. No storms coming. A bit down on the health. I've got campfire too, that'd be handy. Now the boombox is good if anyone does a crazy build, which I tend to on the Xbox. I'll stick with the compact SMG. Need to get into the circle really. But again you can see there's no footprints, no shooting, so you know you're pretty safe. So either someone is standing still by you and gonna just jump out. Or see, now we've got footprints. You see, footprints are there. Uh, I probably wouldn't have heard them, but they're coming down here somewhere. Just need to be careful. Storm's going to just nick us here, I think. That's fine. Four left. Oh, no. They were right behind me. So you saw the footprints. <coughs> Told us where they were. Um, but because the storm was right behind me, I thought they'd run into the middle. Um, but they hadn't. Yeah, but it's yeah, a great set to see. And fourth, the good thing about that then, so if we look at the match stats, XP 744, so that's not bad. So if you're doing the XP games, you know, 744, you know, if you fly down, get two people and get eliminated in the, the bottom 50, then you'll get 100 odd. So you know, 744 is always good. And if you're doing the outlive opponents thing, we've outlived um, 95 players. So that's always all good too. The person who's got me... <laughs> Killed by a girl. That's a good good username. Should we watch Killed by a Girl? It was uh, nice and tidy. So uh, at least I got, got got had by someone with a decent aim. So, in the, oh, 
quad bike. You can't, I mean, I guess it's because it's them, you can't see. Oh, well done, killed by a girl, good performance, and uh, we lost to the winner, so that's what normally happens, but usually that's because we're second. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching the video, I'm going to do the, um, the, the challenges tonight when they come out, and I'll pop a the new skin at the end of this video, so um, my balls will pop at the start, and uh, don't forget the creator ID is Criddler Game with one word, uh, it seems to reset every two weeks, so that, that's a bit frustrating, but um, thanks ever so much for... Uh, for watching it. So a slight insert here. Uh, we'll pop the, the new skin on the next video, but um, just as I was recording the uh, the footprint sort of video, um, I, I flew down to Snobby Shores, um, took a house house out to get sev seven ammo boxes, um, as you probably noticed on the video. I did that, um, hid in a bush, stayed there pretty much most of the game, and um, well, <laughs> the rest is history. Um, zero eliminations, zero assists, zero revives, zero percent accuracy, zero hits, zero headshots. Travelled two kilometres. I'm not sure how it worked that one out. All I was doing was raiding the houses. Um, damage taken 24, that's from the storm. Damage to players, zero. Um, damage to structures, 4,325. Again, I'm not really sure how that happened because I didn't actually do much, but there you go. Um, these things are possible. So, um, one for the bush camper there. So, um, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.